we said on the previous page that a a can be written as a sum of all these rank one matrices. So that means, so I get the full A back if I go all the way up to the rank value R. But I can get a low rank approximation by going up to some other number of coefficients. So let's say low rank approximation of A. And I can take A, let's call it A sub nu, and it's going to be the sum from i equals 1 to nu of sigma i, ui, vi, transpose, where nu is less than r. That'll be an approximation. If I, I just won't have the same complete information that's in the full matrix A, but maybe I can get close. And maybe I can get close with way less terms than I need. That's the key. So now let's use the information about norms again. Okay, because the question we want to answer is how many... singular value terms up there do I need for a good approximation? Of course, the answer is always is, it depends on your application. But I mean, there's some kind of, you know, we can, we can know if something is really good or really bad, whether the application we care about or not. Um, great. So what's the norms of a nu compared to A. Well, one way to look at this, we could say A minus A nu. If we take the two norm of this, it's going to be sigma nu plus one. I'd rather look at the Frobenius norm and say A minus A sub nu and the Frobenius norm, that's going to equal to the square root of sigma nu plus one squared plus da 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 plus sigma r squared. Remember, we're only going up to r because we only care about the non-zero terms. This is one cool way to look at it. So I obviously would want the right-hand side to be small, right? If I my a nu is good enough, then it should be pretty close to a. Um, what I'd rather look at is, let's say I want to keep some fraction of the matrix a. Let's say I want, want to retain some fraction eta. So we could say eta is equal to the norm of a sub nu divided by just a, which using just the singular values gives us sigma 1 squared plus sigma 2 squared dot 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 plus sigma nu squared divided by the square root Sigma 1 squared plus sigma 2 squared plus dot 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 plus sigma nu squared dot dot, dot sigma r squared. Great. I can say, I don't know, I'll set eta equals to 0.95 and I'll do this thing on the right hand side until I get 0.95. So I'll go up to how many ever new terms I need. So find new such that eta equals whatever, 0.95. This is awesome. Why is this awesome? Because I can now take all the information that's in the matrix and compress it by so much, by how much we'll see in the example that we have later. But it's a very cool conclusion.